All right, everybody. This is the last Bowl Mania update, 2020. Uh, by the time you see this, the game is already happening. So, all right, I'm going to show you what everyone picked. Here we go, group score sheet. All right, so here it is. The championship game has 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 started. So here's everybody. It's about half and half. Technically, there's seven people, even though it, there's eight because Johnny Talk Sports. For some reason, he made two accounts. So there's really seven people. So uh, four people picked Ohio State and three people pick Alabama. I picked Alabama. I forgot to do the tiebreaker to put my uh, score prediction, but I'll tell you in a little bit. So, um, yeah, game is happening. Uh, all I hope it's, I just hope it's a good game. Um, you know, if Alabama wins, I won't be upset because this season was kind of crappy. <laughs> It wasn't that great, so that's why, you know what, if they win it, whatever, it's over, right? But I made a little script that I want to show you right now. So yeah, I made this little script here, so it says Bowl Mania 2020, the battle of first place. Um, it's really the top four are battling for first. Alright, so I took screenshots. So, uh, Felix Sakat, who is in first place, picked North Carolina, and everyone else picked Texas A&M. If North Carolina would have won, then Felix Sakat would have automatically won, because the results would have been Felix Sakat with 260 points, and then I would be at 187, and then you can see it would be impossible for the people in second through fourth place can catch up, see? Because we, you know. So, unfortunately, see, look, unfortunately for Felix the Cat, North Carolina lost. And that is how we got to the battle of first place. So here is the top four right now. Felix the Cat, 205 points. And then you can see the possible points remaining. I have 201, 15 possible points remaining. Third place, this is my uncle. Fourth place is my dad, okay? So, yeah. I send my uncle this. Alright, so this is like, you know how like the playoffs, you know, like you can clinch this if this team can clinch the playoffs if this team wins and this team loses. So, it says Felix the Cat can win if getting the championship game correct and my dad get it incorrect or everyone getting it incorrect. Because if everyone gets it incorrect, then he would still win. Which means everyone would have to pick the same team. But that did not happen. Not everyone picked the same team. For me, I can win if getting the championship game correct and everyone else getting incorrect. I picked Alabama, but not everyone else picked Ohio State. So I'm out of it. Uncle Bill can win if getting the championship game correct and both Felix the Cat and Dad get it incorrect. And fourth place can win if getting the championship game correct because he has the most possible points remaining. Now here's where it gets really interesting. That's right, because the game just started. After the game started, Felix the Cat picked Ohio State with 13 points. I picked Alabama with 15 points. These these are our possible points remaining, right? But you can see that the 25 points possible points remaining, that's that's pretty big, right? So then it says unfortunately for Super Eric Bros, which is me, it is impossible for for him to win because this person picked Alabama because he has more confidence points than me. So I'm out of it. Actually, I'm fine with that because I, I act technically I have two usernames. I, I control Felix the Cat. If you don't believe me, see? Uh, look, 
I don't know if my cursor is highlighted, but look. Felix the Cat is controlled by me. You know what? This kind of reminds me of, like, the horse racing, the Triple Crown. You know, like, that, that horse owner, Bob Baffert? He has, like, he owns three horses. And his goal is to have at least one of those horses to win. So that's my goal. So I'm not really... Since I'm in second, I don't have to go for first because Felix, which is still run by me, is in first, right? So that's why I picked Alabama and I chose Felix as Ohio State. So, And here's the thing. There has been quite a bit of upsets, and Felix, for me, picked upsets. All right, so, so I'm out of it, and Uncle Bill is out of it too because... Uh, because Felix the Cat picked Ohio State. They both picked Ohio State. Which means, if you go back here... See, if he would have got it right, he would have got 217 points. But, if Felix would have got it right, he would have gotten 218 points. So, he would have won by one point. So, unfortunately, me and my uncle are out. So, it all comes down to two people... Felix, which is still run by me, and S. Hawkland won. Alright, that's about it. So that is how we got to right now. So uh, whoever wins this game will determine the winner, obviously, of the Bowl Mania. But look, if, look, North Carolina. If North Carolina would have won, we wouldn't be talking about this. But they were actually, they were actually, uh, it was actually kind of a close game. Until like the fourth quarter, I believe. But, yeah. So, um, now here's the thing. I don't think I've ever gotten the championship game correct. 2000, let's go to 2015. The championship game in 2015. That was like the first year I, I've done the Bowl Mania, I believe. I don't know if it was on YouTube or not. But it was Ohio State versus Oregon. I picked Oregon because they crushed Florida State. That's why I picked Oregon. But they lost. Ohio State won. 2016, I picked Clemson. They were playing Alabama because they were number one. But I got that one wrong. It was a close one. 2017, it was the opposite. I picked Alabama. They were playing Clemson. But Clemson won in a close one. Uh, 2018, I picked... Georgia because I needed the points and they were at the Georgia Dome or no was that game at the Georgia Dome or the new Georgia Stadium for, for the Falcons I'm not sure but I that's why I picked them because it was in Atlanta but it was a very close game so I got that one wrong so I, w I was 0 for 3 for the championship game uh, 2019 I got it wrong again I picked Alabama but they got crushed by Clemson, which I still could not believe. And last year, I was going to pick LSU to win. And if I did that, I would have got it right, the championship game right for the first time. But the reason why I didn't pick LSU is because whenever I pick them to win in bowl games, they lose. So I, so I kind of, I didn't pick them to win on purpose. And I wasn't, I wasn't like in the top, top three in my bowl mania group at the time. I was like in the middle. Uh, we can go to last year's, see? What place was I in last year? Oh wait, I was in third place. But look, I, I was down by 33 points, so. And what was the what was the score? How many points did I put for the championship game? It was 21, so yeah. That's why, you know what, I, I picked them, I didn't pick them to win on purpose, because I wanted LSU to win. If I were to pick LSU to win last year, I think they would have lost. So yeah, I that's why I kind of did that on purpose. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm already 0 for 4, so now I'm 0 for 5, right? But I think, I believe I might, for the first time ever, I might get it right, because you have... I mean, just look how great Alabama has been. But Ohio State, here's the thing. They beat Clemson by three touchdowns. That's really impressive. 
after they after that crazy big win, I guess they do deserve to be in the championship game, even though they play less games than the other. But I mean, if you if you can beat Clemson by that many points, you can beat Alabama by that many points because Clemson and Bama are like equal. I don't know. Sometimes you might have a big upset win, and sometimes you'll have a horrible loss. Law, you know. Um, anything can happen, especially this year, because there, there is not seventy thousand people in the stadium. There is some fans, but it's not even like fifty percent full. I think it's like twenty five percent full. So I got Alabama to win. I think they're going to win by by two scores either by two touchdowns or by 10 points. I'm going to say 10 points. I'm going to say 38 to 28. That's my that's my prediction. Uh, let me know let me know your prediction in the comments. So, go back to this year. So if I get it wrong and my uncle gets it right, then I would uh dropped to third and he would go to second but he would he would have lost by one point because Felix picked Ohio State as well so I actually messaged him I don't know if he saw my message yet oh he did see it yeah I sent him an email about that script he said thanks for the email great analysis I thought I was going to be the only one who would pick Ohio State, so I had a chance. I don't really think Ohio State's going to win. It was just mathematically the only way for me to get number one. Whoever would have thought Felix the Cat would have gone for Ohio State. Well, congratulations to you. Either he or or uh, S. Hoffman won. Whoever is the winner. They don't deserve it, but they won it they won this year. I'll be back next year. All right. So there you have it. Um, actually, wait, 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 wait. Some people predicted the score. I don't think we are. I don't think we've discussed that yet. Yeah, not everyone did. All right. So my uncle picked Ohio State to win 42 to 35 by a touchdown. S. Hawkland one pick. Alabama to win by a touchdown, 38 to 31. So a little high scoring. And my brother, who is in fifth place, he picked. He actually picked Ohio State as an upset. Um. Yeah, he actually came over the other day, and I, I wasn't sure if he was actually going to pick them. But I mean, so he picked 35 to 28. So all of these predictions are by one touchdown. My prediction, final Alabama 38, Ohio State 28. So, um, yeah. All right, that is it. That is our final Bowl Mania update. Um, it has been, it was fun, but um, I wish we had all 40 games, obviously. But um, hopefully next year we'll have a lot more games. It will be hopefully almost, it, you know, it will be better. It has to be, right? Just like, you know, this year has to be better than last year. So, um, yeah, the game is currently on, so I'm going to upload this ASAP. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments who do you think will win. And I guess that is about it. So, uh, thank you to Johnny Talk Sports if you're watching this for joining. And, um, hey, um, Last year, we did not have a March Madness, so this year, we will. So, I'll, yeah, we got to have it because, you know, there's a season. I believe that's everything. Uh, we'll see what happens. So, thank you for watching, and that's it.